off the camera i've curved my brows so of course you need your brows to be curved if your brows is way way really bushy so now i'm going to be prepping my skin prepping is very important so i'm taking my nivea micellar water and i'm just going to be using to clean my face to remove the dead to help deeply cleanse it now i am going to moisturize i'm taking my moisturizer and i'm applying it to my face this is my CeraVe moisturizer so i'm just going to be applying it all over my face you can see my fingers i'm using my fingers but i have already washed my hands which is super important to prevent bacteria transfer so so now i'm going to be taking my primer this is an oil free zikel primer oil free poreless finish makeup gripping base as you can see so this would help to control oil like i said i use the heavyweight moisturizer which will most likely you know cause much more much more sebum production so i'm just going to apply this then i'm using my fix it spray by kiss beauty just to keep in hydration on the face while I spread my my prime around so I'm going to be taking little quantity of my corrector I'm using my early girl pro corrector and because we're trying to achieve a no foundation makeup look you would want to ensure that um, your face is um, free from any um extreme blemish either dark spots or red spots so i'm just applying the corrector on the areas where the dark spots are you can see i'm not applying it as though it's like foundation no i'm only applying it on the region where the spots are to correct those spots so i have a few on my cheek and on my forehead remember this corrector is um, very pigmented so you want to add very small portion then you take your beauty blender you spray it with your setting spray so it can be damp and for easy blending of the corrector so i'm going ahead to pat it just around the place i applied it and the areas i want to correct you can see i'm not going I'm spraying it with setting spray, of course, to also make it easier to blend. You can see I'm not spreading it beyond where I applied my corrector so that it doesn't thin out and so that it is it is um, correcting that area or it is covering the dark spot on that area. So this orange corrector is for dark spot and this is for reddish spots. So I'm just blending only on that area now i'm taking my concealer of my skin shade i'm using the la girl in the shade toffee and you can see i'm applying small quantities just on the areas we have corrected this is to well i say counterbalance the pigment and to give it a like a total um, coverage so in this point you want to just blend only on the areas you are covering just to unify your skin tone it's not like you apply concealer all over your face okay you can see what i'm doing i'm just trying to unify my skin tone and call and counterbalance the reddish pigment from the corrector and you can see that my skin is looking very even now everything is looking super even and you can go ahead and apply your powder do your brows and do your lipstick as you wish of course so this is the final look you can go ahead do your brows your lipstick and apply your powder without foundation i hope you enjoyed this video 
if you found this video helpful if you watched to this point and you found this video helpful do well to leave a like do well to comment if you have any questions if you have any video you would like me to create do well to leave it in the comment section i will be glad to see it and do well to subscribe if you haven't turn on your notification so that whenever i drop a new video you will be the first to see and you can also share to your friends i love you stay tuned for more videos like this